Hi there, Lai Masida Sweeney from LaiMasida.com, who's Lai Masida and Think Personal Branding. Today, the date is July 20th, 2017. Time right now is 7.37 in the evening. Okay, I got this question on Quora, and I thought I'd also make it a video. Um, the question was, who is an average student? Okay, now, who is an average student? And, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I just went through a couple of the responses. Some of them were... Who is an average student? The average student is the worst type of student. You should, if you are the, you know, the topmost rank holder, then you climb the corporate ladder. If you're the worst and, um, you know, you get ignored by authority, you challenge the authority, you end up being business people, visionaries. And that is why if you're either the best or the worst, you shouldn't be anything in between. The ones who are in between, they are just average. That is bad. That Now, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. Um, it, you know, when, when people give, uh, you know, statements like this, I, I begin to wonder, I, I, I seriously begin to think, so what you're trying to tell me is, either you should be a rank holder, the best of the best, or you should be the worst of the worst, but you should not be in between, because if you are in the between, you are, pa. that's bad. So, if you see the current population of the planet, that's 7.4 billion you're talking of 7 billion people 7.5 so we put 2.5 in each category do we equally divide them just think about it you're talking of 7 billion unique people people with unique set of skills unique set of you know their personalities are different their wants their desires their dreams their the environments are different the the challenges that they face will be different the laws of the country will be different so many things will be different. So we divide them, classify it into A, B, or C. I, I, it's it's more like having this. Uh, I, I remember, um, you know, some of these myths that are there. You can see the Great Wall of China from you know space where everything becomes small. The fact is, you can see all massive, gigantic structures from space. This this is just a myth, and it has just you know. Urban legend has traveled from you know one word of mouth to another, and then you also have uh, this. People use only ten percent of their brain. Uh, if imagine if they were to use ninety percent or hundred percent, then you know that movie Limitless came out. So now what they have is you should either be the best or you should be the worst. Nothing in between. I I personally feel that you're giving a wrong message to students. So. A student begins to think, since I'm not the best, I might as well be a rebel. I might as well be the worst. And for a student who is respectful of the rules, he begins to think, it's okay to be a bad boy. And the ones who are bad boys think, yes, I'm going to be a visionary. I'm going to be something great in life. Let me break all the rules. Let me be a gangster. Let me be bad. The problem is such pieces of advice, they, they misguide the youth. And, and today's youth is very gullible. They have access to the internet, they have access to videos, they have access to all this. And they start believing the bullshit that, you know, people give them. And I think we need to, when we answer such questions, we need to do it with a sense of responsibility. So first and foremost is, this is absolutely nonsense, okay? This is sheer bloody nonsense. Just because you're a rank holder does not mean you're going to get a good job. Just because you are a rebel and a misfit and you don't respect authority doesn't mean that you're going to be a visionary. Most of the people who have broken rules in school and do not care for authority, the majority of them, and this is a fact, the majority of them, they end up in prison. They end up doing drugs. They end up going into gangs. You want proof of this? Just, just go down. Just go walk down your road and have a look at those boys who didn't complete school, who, are ga who were joining gangs. Drugs is a reality. You know, uh, the, go, go to a prison. Check. Do you see any visionary there? Do you see Bill Gates? Do you see Steve Jobs? Boys who have murdered someone, who have killed someone. Why? Because somebody told them, oh, it's cool to be a, you know, an extremist or rebel. You know, we can use the Apple advertisement that says, you should be a, uh, you know, a square in a, you know, circle in a square peg hole. Or, you know, you should be the rebel, the misfits. Listen, do not cherry pick. An exception, I always tell people, an exception to the rule doesn't make it a rule. Now, just because you have Steve Jobs, Will Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, these are people who qualified for Harvard, who qualified for Stanford. So unless you are Harvard material, you're not going to achieve that kind of success. Forget it. 
Okay, that's number one. And there are many rank holders, many people who have got the first rank, who have, you know, joined IIT, IIMs, who have joined these top-notch institutes. They are working for some of the top-notch organizations. You have even um, Satya Nandala, okay? Uh, I hope I got his name right. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, these people prove themselves every step of the way. They respected the rules, okay? So first and foremost is, this is all rubbish, okay? I think people need to take a sense of response. Stop saying that an average student is a worse student. No, an average student is an average student. You are evaluating them based on certain rules and criteria. Now, when someone tells me that a student is average, these are the six questions that come to my mind. The first one is, okay, you are rating him average. Fine, you are rating him average on based on what? Is it a memorization? Is it like by hearting? Is it mathematical skills? Is it English speaking? Is it like, for example, if you check my Hindi, when I was in uh, school, I failed in Hindi, I failed in Arabic. So if you only evaluate me based on language skills, like Arabic and Hindi, uh, you should say that uh, I should go to the dogs. Even today, I'm not very good at Hindi. I'm not good at Arabic, okay? Is it physical training skills? Is it uh, swimming? Is it business? Is it leadership? On what basis have you evaluated? And it's not possible to have one single test that checks someone on all the possible areas, okay? That's number one. So when you're grading him, you're grading him in one category. Second, when you use average, on you know, on what criteria were these tests conducted? What was the criteria? What did you check? Uh, is it uh, customized to a particular age group? Uh, uh, ethnicity? Is it for from 18 years to 27 years? Is it for boys? Is it for girls? You can't have one test for every person on the planet, okay? Then third one, these tests that you're conducting, your school, your college, is it globally recognized? Does it have a certificate of like ISO 9000 or does it have some international body that says, yes, we recognize this, that we can use this test like Mensa, like, uh, uh, you know, Myers-Briggs, we can use it all around the world? No, okay, if it's not, then uh, you, you are judging him based on some, uh, what, uh, uh, you know, Sri Vidyale, Patshala College or some stuff like that, some name of some weird institute where only a thousand people go and you are making this a big scene. No, that's wrong, okay? The fourth one is when you're taking any data, when you're taking any data, if you want to know a test is accurate, you need to have at least 10 years of data. That means for 10 years you have been doing this analysis and for 10 years the tests have been absolutely correct in predicting. You have 10 years data with 10,000 students. Let's say for example, uh, you know the impact of penicillin, you know the impact of uh, steroids, you know the impact of, uh, let's say, you, you, you take uh, paracetamol, okay? These are drugs that if you do take, you know what is, the, uh, what is the impact. Let's say, for example, you take steroids and you do bodybuilding, okay? Obviously, muscles will grow faster because testosterone just shoots up, okay? So you have test subjects where you have experimented this and you know, okay, I put this much, I get this much. So, do you have that analysis? You don't have. And, you, you know, point number five is, for example, you, you predicted, okay, Loy, Loy Macedo is a very average student. Have you taken my entire timeline that you could say, yeah, you know, uh, we had 500 students whom we predicted that they would be an engineer or doctor or a failure. And we have 500 students where all the data has come back accurate. Now at the age of 76, he is a useless bum. At the age of 76, we have his entire life history. He was a successful doctor. We predicted he would be a doctor. Do you have any such data? And last but not the least, ask yourself, are these tests just mere assumptions? Are they like a one-trick pony? It's like, you know, one of these um, JPEG images that they have. They had a fish, a frog, a monkey, and an elephant. And uh, there's one person reading, okay, we have uh, conducted the tests for swimming and found out that the elephant the monkey and uh, the you know giraffe they are not good at swimming so you are failures in life you'll never succeed in life remember each person has a different skill a variety has has something that is totally different that is unique so stop categorizing everyone into a, you know one size fits all all right um, i i you know what i worry about is these uh, so called tags that you give people and the so called uh, uh, you know, assumptions that you have. There is some child out there, 
some kid out there who's going to read this. Like for example, when I was small, this man came to me, hair-like guy, he came up to me with beard and he looked at me and said, wow, you are very special. You have amazing talent. And uh, you know, as a small boy, until then my, my parents were saying that I was a bum. All of a sudden when he said, I have a talent, I'm special, I was like, wow, I must be really special. And I lived, you know, my entire childhood until I became a teenager, thinking I had this special talent. Wow, special talent, I was going to be a superstar, DJ. Now you might say, wow, isn't that good? Isn't that good that, you know, you, you nurture this belief that children are special? Here's the thing, because I thought I was special, I, I, I made a lot of mistakes. I didn't work hard. I, I took for granted. I believed I was going to be this next Hollywood superstar, next mega DJ. I wish instead of him saying, you are talented, I wish he would say that you would be something really great if you work hard. You have everything in you to succeed if you work hard. I wish someone would glorify the virtues of working hard and achieving my dreams rather than just telling me, you are so talented, you'll achieve anything. So the... My request to all of you people out there, parents and whomsoever, and even you youngsters, if you're watching this video, this, this bullshit that if you're the best student rank holder, you'll amount to nothing. And if you are uh, the worst student, you challenge teachers and authority and you do all that shit, you will uh, become business. That is all rubbish. If you challenge authority and if you're a troublemaker and if you are a nuisance, You'll become worse and worse and worse. You'll end up in jail. You'll end up in drugs. You'll end up in gangs. Okay. There is no such uh, a theory that if you are uh, a troublemaker, that you're going to end up successful. No. I know a lot of people in my college who are, even today, they are bums. They are losers. They have not amounted to anything. So please stop it. And if you're a rank holder, please continue studying hard because there is a certain merit. There is a certain value that education does have. Yes, nothing that you study is going to be used in real life. I know that. But this gives you a ticket to go apply for a nice college, to go apply for a good job, to go apply and have some options. If education was absolutely no use all over the world, I think, uh, you know, why would anyone have a college or institute? Man? Come on. All parents would say, no need to study. Just do carpentry, you know, be the best carpenter in the world. Because the fact of the matter is, yes, maybe that uh, if you study a skill, maybe you can be somewhere. But if you want to fit into a corporate world, because not everyone's meant to be a businessman, because if everyone was meant to be a businessman, everybody would be running a business. So keep a uh, option. A, if A doesn't work, my passion that is being a businessman, DJ, movie star, at least I can fall back on B. At least I have an engineering degree. At least I have... A science degree at least I can go to the corporate job and ask for one so I hope uh, this answers your question about students being average is the worst thing that's rubbish and I think we need to stop categorizing ch children into uh, categories like uh, if you're a rank holder you're gonna be like this if you're a fa failure you're gonna be like this if you're average you're gonna be like that end of the day you need to work hard. You need to work very, very hard if you want to succeed. And only then you will succeed in life. Others you will not. So Lloyd from LloydMesedo.com. Who's Lloyd Mesedo and Think Personal Branding? Answering your questions. Uh, and uh, also speaking on issues which I think are very important. You have anything to ask me? Let me know. Love to hear from you. Goodbye for now.